How's it going everyone? Needle Mouse here. Sonic Unleashed is a fan favorite Sonic game. It began as a game that was disliked, but became one that was beautifully brought into the light in recent years, allowing more and more people to experience this amazing video game. And just like most, I adore this game. The day stages are such a blast to go through, and I often go back to them all the time. Even the extra acts are something I often play through. But of course, this isn't everything that Sonic Unleashed is. Of course, how can there even be a Sonic Unleashed video that does doesn't, at the minimum, mention the Werehog. Now, a lot of you know that I think the Werehog is actually kind of great. While not the best gimmick they could have added, I quite enjoy playing as this version of Sonic. And honestly, I enjoyed more than the Wisp. Now, would Unleash be a better game if it was just the day stages? Yeah, it would absolutely. But is the Werehog an awful gimmick? No, not really. Well, that is if we're talking about Sonic Unleashed for the PS3 and Xbox 360. When it comes to the Wii and PS2 version, well, Sonic Unleashed is a Sonic game that I am very mixed about. Both the day and night stages aren't anywhere near the quality of Unleashed on the next-gen consoles. Now, I already made a video on the Sonic Unleashed day stages, which you should check out before watching this one if you want to. It'll be in the description and it should pop up on your screen now. But finally, after almost six months, time to finish this sort of dual review of Sonic Unleashed and explain why the Sonic Unleashed night stages are worse than you think. All right, but first, let's get a little background. Sonic Unleashed was released on November 18th, 2008, till mixed reception. Some critics thought it was a return to form for Sonic games after Sonic 06, while others <coughs> thought that this game was in fact worse than Sonic 06. Yeah, I'm definitely making a video about the worst Sonic reviews up to this one, man. But anyway, at this point in time, it was common practice for Sega to make games to release at the same time as their mainline counterparts. Shadow the Hedgehog released on the same day as Sonic Rush did, Sonic 06 was released the same day as Sonic Rivals, and so on and so forth. Sega wanted to do the same thing with Sonic Unleashed, so they once again would approach a company by the name of Dims, the same people who are responsible for the masterpieces that are Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure, to create something that would release the same day as Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed would be the first 3D D-make in Sonic history. That is, if you don't count Secret Rings, as it was originally a remake of Sonic 06. The game went through massive changes, losing whole environment and having brand new gameplay styles and level design. And while the game isn't anything horrible, it's quite mediocre. And one of the reasons it is so is due to the night stages being marginally worse. Alright, I think we should start off with the controls. They honestly suck. While the HD Werehog didn't particularly control well, this one's a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. He feels so stiff to control, and when he's sprinting, he feels really slippery. You can make pretty tight turns terms, but I've oftentimes found myself running off ledges when I'm trying to move the completely other way. The double jump also feels awful, and a whole lot worse than the PS3's version of it. I don't know what to say, but the Werehog feels a lot worse to control in pretty much every aspect. Except for the turning when running, because honestly, that was not too bad. But don't get me even started on the combat. Sure, the HD version has quite a bit of button mashing, but even then, there are some actually really fun combos you can pull off. But this version of the Werehog? Oh my god, you don't understand what button mashing is until you've played it. It might be one of the most mindless things I have ever done in a Sonic game. And I played Sonic 4, like all of it. But that's if you're lucky and using a GameCube controller. If you're using a Wiimote, oh my god, Godspeed, you'll be throwing that thing across your entire room. Even as someone who liked Sonic and the Black Knight, it's worse than that. I have no clue what happened here, uh, honestly. And oh my god, the platforming. In the PS3 and Xbox versions of Sonic Unleashed, there are some amazing platforming sections. The Clock Tower and Rooftop Run, and pretty much the entirety of Jungle Joyride, as well as Skyscraper Scamper, come to mind because I loved those. But the SD version strips all that fun away. Due to the clunky controls, the platforming is a lot worse than the HD versions. It's not the worst in the series because, well, we still have this. But it's certainly a whole lot worse than I expected. Oh, and man, this is really pissing me off now, but I hate how long it takes to climb up ledges. Not only is the homing attack in the SD version just atrocious, it takes an actual millennia for Sonic to climb up a ledge, which is stupid. Another thing I should probably mention is that there's a lot more mandatory enemy rooms. Unleash HD did have them, but this version is so much worse. So many times the game will literally block you off from going forward. In the 360 version, oftentimes you can skip over the enemies completely and just move on with the level. But that's completely absent here and most of the time you will be locked out. And of course, on top of all of that, 
there are these stupid missions, man. For those who watched part one of this pseudo review, know that missions in Sonic games suck in my eyes, and this one is absolutely no exception. These stages genuinely piss me off. I don't like this stage, this game is not as good as the HD version, and I'm tired of people saying this game is better than the HD version. If you think that it is, you're wrong! But it's not all bad. There are some things about this version that are better than the HD version, I'm not gonna lie. For starters, the camera in this version is honestly so much better than the PS3 version. It's honestly night and day. All right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right. Then we also have the level environments, and this is, of course, goes for both versions, but I do love how the stage in the SD version look noticeably different to the one in the HD, and I just think that's really, really cool. It honestly gives them a lot more life and makes them a lot more noticeably different from the PS3 and 360 version. But that's honestly about all I have to say about the SD version of Sonic Unleashed Night stages. They're not very good. <laughs> As you can clearly see, I think these are quite bad in my eyes. Well, not the worst thing in the franchise. It's certainly a lot worse than the Werehog in the HD version. While there are some redeeming factors to it, it's worse. I honestly think that this version of the Werehog is what I think of when people say that the Werehog is bad. Because this is a truly bad version of this gimmick. The HD version makes this gimmick really, really fun but here, it's honestly really bad. <laughs> but that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.